Hello and welcome back. My stomach is full of sushi and strawberries today. Uh, and uh, let's talk a bit more about demographics. Um, so this is this is uh, the population between uh, zero years old and twenty, and then that's consumption. Though those only consume, as I said in the last video, then we have this part that is between twenty and sixty. They are the productive part, uh, with twenty uh, percent being the one that uh, produces the most, according to the Pareto principle. Then we have this other um, rightmost part, which is the uh, elderly people that also only uh, only consume so these people these people over here on both sides they they are actually only something that this uh, part here um, uh, pulls on its back you know it has to carry carry <laughs> it has to carry that weight so um so basically uh, so this this is quite healthy this uh, it's normal it should be a bit here it should be a bit here and the major part is here in the productive and that means that in the future we have the same appearance <clears throat> nothing changed so this is about demographics as i showed so have we have the same appearance here as the left one but now we have because we didn't have that, that many babies in in this um, in this uh, modern time so the left ball is a bit smaller and this one is also a bit smaller uh, no let us say like this so it's it's the same as this one above but but um, oh my god this is hard and like that so we have more elderly here not that many children and the problem with this is that in the future um because of the fact that the the productive part here has to carry the weight of the elderly yeah it it can it can actually do that and but but the, it will just continue to make the size of this um, young population smaller in comparison to the to the elderly. It will only grow, and uh, I mean <clears throat> this is this is I don't know what, what government will do about this, but soon it will be something like that and. Everyone agrees that this is not healthy with all these pensioners here and uh, this Pareto is still here. But I mean, this left ball doesn't look that good. I mean, right? It needs some more stuff there. <clears throat> but seriously, I think I think this is a good uh, good way to explain it uh, because uh, yeah, it's it's a bit funny, but at the same time, it's it's I, in my opinion, it's correct, and um, um, so what what will government do about this, right? Or what can it do? What can it? What can be done about it? The only thing that can be done is that, uh, like the Keynesian, Keynesian, I think, economical system. Um, goes uh, like uh, is forgotten and uh, <clears throat> there will be something new because uh, consumption I mean in, in, in a Keynesian based economical system this is fine there's nothing wrong about this this is this is uh, this is okay in, in Keynesian economics because uh, there is consumption here there's consumption here. I mean, there's nothing weird. There's nothing, nothing bad about this, in case and economics. But <clears throat> it's not hard to understand that it is not sustainable. That 
the more weight you have to carry on on the productive people, the less they can actually, uh, the, the less energy they have to have families and all this stuff. And uh, uh, so uh, it's not sustainable. Um, what were I going to say? Something more, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know, but uh, I, let, let's just forget about it. It was just a little continuation of this a bit immature uh, uh, take on this uh, demographics problem. And um, let's see if I can figure out what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, basically, they need to carry the weight of all of this and it will not be uh, good to do that. So, so what if government, so government, for example, it could enforce government equal rights or maybe, maybe not any, any longer. <laughs> Go, what am I writing? Government, uh, govern mind. Some people say it's mind control. Some people say, um, uh, so this government, I mean, if we would have our modern type government, it would tell us <clears throat> it's no, I think any government would say like, it's your responsibility to take care of, of your, of your parents. And we're going to write it into the law of, into the law. It's a law that you take care of your parents. And that means that um, when the government, because I mean, there is no other good way to take care of it unless there's a, like a syringe here uh, that does the job. But I'm, I'm, you may think that I'm incredibly um, unsens unsensitive, but I'm just saying in fact here. Um, either you have a government telling you to take care of your, sh or your parents and uh, put energy there, which means that you have less time to create family and these things uh, and uh, worse economy. But maybe not. Maybe maybe the maybe you have like great parents that help out, but. I think I think this government is uh, is about when they actually are a weight on 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 the on anyone. Just like children here can't can uh, can't take care of themselves in some way. The elderly is the same, right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> so government solution is is to it can only tell you to take care of it, but at the same time when the government enforces these things uh, there will be alternatives popping up to government free market based stuff but okay that's all bye